At the end of the month, you want to run your period and processing. Before you run period and processing for your purchase order module, you want to make sure that your receipt of goods entries are completed, your receipt of invoice entries are completed, as well as your return of goods entries are completed. Once those have all been updated, you want to go into the purchase order module under the period end folder. Under period end, the first function is the purchases clearing report. If you are processing accounts payable invoices through purchase order, you are going to want to generate your purchases clearing report and confirm that it ties to general ledger at the end of every month. We're going to generate our purchases clearing report because in our setup we are posting to accounts payable as well. I'm going to preview this report with the standard selections as it's then going to list all of the current items that are on the purchases clearing report. If I scroll over to the right, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is make sure that the total of my purchases clearing value is what's sitting in my purchases clearing account in general ledger, as they should match. The second thing that I want to confirm is, do these items truly belong on the purchases clearing report? So for example, my first item shows that I've ordered 99 and I've received 99 and I have yet to receive an invoice. The question for me would be is have I truly not received that invoice or did I just forget to process that through receipt of invoice entry? So this is the time where I could locate that invoice and go ahead and process it to take it off of the purchases clearing report. The way that the item actually comes off of the purchases clearing report is when the quantity ordered, quantity received, and quantity invoiced are all exactly the same amount. In the event of my next item, I have 66 ordered, 66 received, and 16 invoiced. So I am still waiting for another 50 to get an invoice for. So as long as that invoice has not been received at month end, I know that that is a valid purchases clearing entry and that would remain on the report. So you need to go through your purchases clearing report to confirm that all of the items listed are correct and if not, make the correcting entries in order to remove them from the purchases clearing report. And again, you also want to make sure that that report total ties to general ledger at the end of every month. You then can go into your period and report selection. Period and report selection allows you to select reports that you may want to generate at the end of every month. This is not required, but it's another way of just doing a full period and process with getting reporting at that particular time when you're closing. I'm going to select the open purchase order report. So maybe what I would like to do is at every period end, I want the open purchase order report to generate. And I'm just going to do my standard report setting. I don't have any custom settings. And I could ultimately tell it to save it to my printer. And I only want one copy to generate. Once I've defined all the reports that I want to generate at period end, I can just go ahead and accept my report selections. Then I can perform period end processing. Now period end processing can also only be run when there are no data entry functions in process. So you want to make sure that all users have updated everything within the module before you perform period end. It lets me know what period I am currently in and when it's going to be performing that close for. I have the option to print all the period end reports that I've selected in my period report selection. I'm going to uncheck that box because maybe I've decided I don't want to print those reports. And then I can tell it to proceed. When I proceed, it's going to give me that final warning letting me know that I am going from period 5 into period 6. And if I want to print any of my reports, now's the time for me to say no so I can go back and get those reports. And do I want a complete period and process? And I would simply say yes for it to go through those functions. I'm going to say no on my setup. And I just wanted to point out regarding period and processing, period and processing also looks at your settings in your purchase order setup. So for example, if you're retaining history for just two years, and period end processing is being generated for May of 2010, but maybe I have a completed purchase order that's from two years prior, the period end processing will automatically go ahead and purge out that purchase order. So the period end processing is important that it's run through the menu because it will go through any of your historical settings and perform the functions at period end.